Trevon Bradford is deep. We're underway from the shoe. And it's a new rule. Got a big raise for the Buckeyes. And here comes a little trick play to start the game for Oregon State. And on the pitch, Bradford is out of Bethel. Octavius Pierce wrestled to the ground, bringing up third down and six. Third down and six for the Beavers. Jake Luton swings it out. And it's going to be a first down and more for Bradford. And Bradford into Ohio State territory as the beef. Just one win a year ago for this Oregon State team. Movement at the point of attack. And Robert Landers. Uh, defense number 67. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Artavis Pierce trying to cut it back. It's dropped at the 40-yard line in a few weeks. We're going to keep it on the ground here on second down. Pierce into the wall at the 38-yard line. Pete Warner and head coach Jonathan Smith's tenure. And the ball's on the ground. Ohio State recovers it. Nick Bosa with the fumble recovery. I always wonder how head coach going to be in his first game as Dobbins runs the... Uh, and, but then calling the plays, you know, with Kevin on the field. You know, that'll be a, a new thing, a little bit of a challenge, but, uh, but we prepared for this. Penalty from the end of the run, automatic first down. When you're an offensive court, you accumulate as a head coach, and he's been thrust into a tough spot. Dwayne Haskins, the new Ohio State quarterback, has a wide-open Terry McClellan. Inside the 10-yard line, tackled at this line. Dave told us Haskins loves to go up tempo. Hands it off here as they hurry to the line. And Dobbins periods. Second down and goal for Ohio State. Haskins pulls it back and has a touchdown pass to Terry McLaurin. Here we go. But it's his team now. And the point after, seven up champs. It'll be a touchback, and so Oregon State will start on the 20. Seeing what he can do. Again, don't know if it's because Luton is shaken up or not. Here's Blount on first down, and his pass is incomplete. David Arnett was all over the receiver. Goes on. That's the medical tent. Our cameras are not allowed in there. On second down, here's a screen to Pierce, and there he goes. He's got some speed. First down, past the 40-yard line, and up to midfield back to start this game and now we don't know if we'll see him again after that hit by Chase Young. Blount off play action wide open in the middle of the field is Bradford inside the 20 yard line he's heading for the end zone touchdown Oregon State. And shoot here on for the point after. We're tied at seven. Go. Oregon State just one win and none in conference play. This goes out of bounds, so Ohio State's going to have good field position. Tempo. Take the picking out of it and just go play. Mike Weber, a 1,000-yard back two years ago, is in the game. And here's the pitch to Paris Campbell and gets stood up. He's not talking to a lot of people. He's running the offense from his point of view. There's Campbell again, upended. But his first responsibility right now is the offense. And Weber with a big running lane picks up a first down to the Oregon State 45-yard line. He don't know, so just let him rip it and cut it loose. And it's Weber again, and he's grabbed in the backfield and dropped for a long... A game week. Seemed like things had settled down around here just being here for the last four days. Here's Haskins. That's a nice catch by K.J. Hill. Curtis month, not normal. But now, back to the game. These guys are very comfortable being out there, playing. He said, you're built for this, Ryan. Ryan said, I believe that as well. Haskins from the pocket, throws a dart, juggled initially, but then pulled in by Terry McLaurin, who had the Ohio State touchdown. To be here at Ohio State. Weber breaks a tackle inside the five, keeps the feet moving, hits Peter, touchdown Buckeyes. Weber. Big Ten freshman of the year two years ago. Battled injury for part of last year. So they have an excellent one-two punch and tailback here in Col This will be fair caught and a touchback. Comes out to the 25 as we say hello to Cassidy TCU in Arlington at AT&T Stadium. Pitch to Bradford. Nice cutback past the 30-yard line. Seven-yard run. Not that resulted in the turnover, but it's been a good plan, a good start for this Beaver offense. 
It's an offside penalty, so a free play. Blount going down the sideline, and another flag as there was contact by the corner, Jeffrey Oku. On Luton. There are two fouls on the play. Offside, defense number two, Apelli's decline. Pass interference, defense number one. That penalty being forced 15 yards, automatic first down. Fights back from an injury that could affect more than football. A spinal cord injury to be the starting quarterback. Then gets hurt in the first quarter of his first game back. Blount chased down, throws it away. Joey, of course, played here. Top three pick by the Chargers. Another free play on the offside. Shot down the field incomplete. And another flag against the Cuda. Defending her side. Defense number two. Appelli's decline. Pass interference. Defense number one. That penalty being forced 15 yards. You can see Okuda. Look at that left arm. Nader. Third time Oregon State's been in Buckeye territory. A run play. Pierce just gets it. No more than likely coming into the day. Letting emotions get the best of him on those two offsides. Blonde in trouble on second and long. Sack back at the 47-yard line. Draymond Jones. And they're just going to keep it on the ground with Pierce. Bosa on the stop. So aggressive and they're so talented. C.J. Saunders is deep for the Buckeyes, and there's contact, and there's a flag. He's got to allow that returner an opportunity. Kick catch interference on the kicking team number four. It's a 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So with the penalty, Ohio State starts this drive on its 25-yard line with sophomore quarterback Dwayne Haskins. And throws a dart to K.J. Hill across the 40-yard line. Hill drags a defender into Beaver Terry. And getting plus yardage. Play action for Haskins. Little half roll. Hits Hill again. Good open field stop. But Haskins always wanted to be a Buckeye. J.K. Dobbins running. Gets the first down for Ohio State. His favorite quarterback, former Buckeye Heisman Trophy winner, Haskins visited here about a decade ago. Fell in love with Columbus. A.K. Dobbins wrapped up after a cheap. What position you going to play? All right. He called a shot, and now he's taking a shot to the end zone. Incomplete. Off the hand of Paris Campbell. And very accurate throughout the first quarter of this game. An important third down here for Haskins and company. Third down and six. And Dobkins way wide at the top of your screen. Haskins finds the open receiver. Johnny Dixon with the first down catch. Here's Dobbins off the left edge. Stiff arming his way out of play. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 14. Finley's had the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Caleb Hayes, you saw there. Haskins to throw, dumps it off to the tight end. Rashad Berry, touchdown, fuck up. Extra point makes it 21. His dream has come true. He's the starter for a national championship contender. Morgan State, we're told, going to be without its starting quarterback, Luton, for this first half because of injury. Here's Cassett against FAU. Blount to throw on first down and has an open receiver. Pulled in by season if they want to contend yet again for the playoff. Run play. True freshman Jamar Jefferson. Washington. He is really well respected by his peers. Another run play. And short of the line. A Northwestern alum. Smith and Oregon State alum. Blount dumps it up. What a great call there. Jefferson gets the first down. Riley Coach Smith as the quarterback for Oregon State 15 years ago. Blount trying to find a team yet. I just want him to get better. Blount on second down, almost throws an interception. Be, they'll be much more competitive against quality opponents like Ohio State. Part of the fourth time they've been in Buckeye territory. Blount in trouble, though. Bosa there, sacks him back at the 37-yard line. Has breathed fire coming off the edge, and Bosa catches in. There's the punt by Rodriguez. Saunders, and he muffs the punt. It's 
picked up by Oregon State. It's going to be Beaver football. You can't advance the player. C.J. Saunders must the punt to give the Beavers new life. But a great play by guess who? That was Robert in two weeks. Second and 15 for Oregon State. Swing pass out on the flat. Bradford wrestled to the ground at the tree yet again. Connor Blanc, the backup quarterback because of an injury, has time here, and the ball is dropped. Timmy Hernandez had it in his hands here. A 43-yard attempt to get some points here for Oregon State. And the kick is not close. He missed. Buckeyes back on offense. Here's Mike Weber straight ahead. And Weber pushes the pile out to the 34. As much as JT Barrett did. Really anxious to see whether... Dead ball, false start. Offense number 66, five-yard penalty. Still second. Brian Sneed and Master Teague, who we might see today. Weber again. Brought down at the 32, got a few yards back. Balance each other nicely. Haskins on third down, another strike. First down, Austin Mack. He's in front of the numbers. They give it to... Even if you get people in his face, the ball's out so fast, you can't rush him. Play action here for Haskins. And there was some contact, and here comes a flag. Pass was intended for Austin Mack. Pass interference, defense number 30. Ball to be placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. It's on for his first start. You get a sense of talking to his teammates as well. They believe in him. They see him as a leader. Except, been, except for Nick Bosa. Yeah, not we, Nick. we need to see him play. Yeah, he was <laughs> messing, he was messing <laughs> he with him. He was. Though. He was giving him a hard yeah, time. We'll see. Wow. That was on the ground. It bounced right to my maintain grasp. Another handoff, and Weber is loose inside the 30-yard line. Gets a block from the receiver, and he's gone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Here's Weber getting to the edge. So well blocked at the point of attack. Nothing but green grass. And when you go 49 yards untouched to the end zone, you better because of those big fellas up front. Nurenberger is good again, and John played his college ball at Boston College. A touchback, it'll come out to the 25 for Oregon State. Anybody would notice. They are so similar. The only difference is Joey's about an inch taller. Pass to the sideline is on target. Pulled in bubble. It's going to be a very wealthy family here very soon. Here's Artavis Pierce running right, and he's wrapped up. Short of the winning the Super Bowl the next two years. <laughs> it's an interesting movement going on today in the NFL. Connor Blount the throw here on third down. No, he won't. Sack. Draymond Jones with one sack all last year from his defensive. Knowing that you have to account for him and Nick Bosa on the same side. Daniel Rodriguez punting to Saunders, who's had a little trouble back there so far today. Able to secure that one. Suplexed at the 42. Can you name them? One set of brothers. It's Chew on that. Tate Martell is in the game at quarterback. A redshirt freshman getting some reps. And he gets hogged. Hands it off here to Dobbins. Falls forward to the 43. Haskins in to throw the ball here on third down and long. And he dumps it off to K.J. Hill. And Hill has the first down. Boy, it's rare you see a new quarterback coming. On one of the Beaver defenders. Back to the ground game with Dobbins. And you get second down and four. Haskins with all day to throw. And that one wide of the target. Dobbins incomplete. He just hasn't proven to be overly accurate on a consistent basis. And that's what we've seen out of Dwayne Haskins is tremendous accuracy. Buckeyes are perfect on third down so far today, and they move the chains again here with Dobbins. And Tom for opposing teams, because look at all the different things they've got to prepare for. Haskins hits Austin Mack inside the 10-yard line. First and goal. For downfield, be great in the RPO game. Better have an answer for quarterback runs with Martell. After the 20-yard game, handoff to Dobbins. NC takes on Miami. And I know Ohio State fans are looking forward to him. I think a lot of Buckeyes became Tiger fans because of Joe Burrow's transfer. Haskins overshoots Mack for plays. It's a lot of extra work for each and every opponent every week. And it's a trick play diagram. No doubt. With yeah. two quarterbacks on the field at a time. And here's Weber heading for the end zone again. Touchdown, Ohio State. It'll go down as a touchdown pass. The third of the day for Haskins. 
Weber cruises into the end zone. First career touchdown catch for Weber. Nurnberger splits the uprights again. And used to sign where he was then traded for Phillip Rivers, who was the fifth overall pick. Well done. Kinds of questions. I mean, it, that might be the biggest question mark game where you just don't know what to expect from either team. Browns pass knocked away, incomplete. Over the years, can Burrow be that guy? And can LSU contend in the awfully difficult SEC West? Yeah, and the last time they had a transfer quarterback was Zach Mettenberger, who did have a nice career at LSU, so maybe they'll find luck twice via the transfer market in Joe Burrow. On second and ten, the Beavers run the ball. Jefferson, he was really up and down. Third down and long. Blount in trouble, but it's a screen. And Ohio State defends that well. Pierce taken down. Great name, too, huh? No doubt. Tough. Oh, collision in the backfield. That is going to be roughing the kicker. As Rodriguez got drilled that top. Okay, he was outside the pocket on that rollout rugby style. So they, for the day, far more than any offense or defense. Tate Martell back in the game. He hands it off to Brian Snead. The true freshman has given up just 11 yards the last five possessions, though. They've settled down. Movement up front. Oh, false start. Offense 71. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Still, look how physically developed that group is. And Ohio State can recruit with the best. And along the offensive line, they're so imposing, even with their backups in. Martell on third down and 11. A wide receiver screen. But short of the first down. So it's going to bring players. Drew Chrisman will punt. Trevon Bradford is deep for Oregon State. Chrisman kills this thing. It sticks at the five-yard line and is down at the three by McClellan. People running around. That's going to be a really cool perspective from up there. I'm told each has a telescope to call that game. As <laughs> our Top 20 still a lot of talent on that roster. And now with Willie Taggart leading the charge, group's got a chance to bounce back big time this year. Jimbo Fisher leaving for Texas A&M. Taggart taking over after leaving Oregon. Second down and seven. Blount loses the ball. State. It's his eligibility situation. First round pick of the Dolphins back in 1987. 42 to 7. Oh, no problem. We'll just put in Chase Young and Haskell Garrett and Davon Hamilton. I mean, the depth is maybe what makes this group first when describing the great tutors at that position. Now, it shouldn't surprise you, but this team approached this game with a clear focus and have played extremely well so far today. Brad, been remarkable. Well, there were a lot of people wondering when Ryan Day received the call as that ball, again, is hit, hits the deck and block. following year, he's going to be a head coach sooner than later. And he's a star. Every single person that can near each other. Pressure again on Blount. The pass under throw, but it's caught. Isaiah Hodgins with the called in by their big six foot four wide receiver. Blount had Chase Young bearing down on him. Terrible snap. Loose ball again. Covered up. Hodgins given some of the things that he's been through in his own life. Here's a screen pass with blockers out in front. Pierce knocked out of play, getting back both here in Columbus and wherever it is that he might end up next. Well, he got a 250% raise, so that tells you what they think of him when he turned down that SEC job, which a lot of people game day. Will be interesting when Urban Meyer comes back and coaches practice, though, through the week. And Day is coaching on game day. Blount chased out of the pocket and throws it away. He was outside the pocket. Well, I'm not surprised that they have their hands full today with an athletic Maryland team. Blount in trouble. Down he goes. Chase Young and Nick Bosa. He's got it all. Power and speed. Puts the Beavers at a third and 19. They run it. Jefferson gets outside to the 10. And out of bounds with 25 seconds remaining. There was nobody home. The easiest run they'll make against an Ohio State defense all year. Blount to throw. Takes a shot to the corner. It's pulled in. And it's a touchdown. Trevon Bradford. Both by Connor Blount, who is the backup, taking over for Jake Luton, who was injured in the first quarter. Can they get it? Johnny Dixon deep for the Buckeyes. This will be a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. More so than Notre Dame. Come in kind of limping. Michigan's lost 
several games in a row to end the 2017 season. So now all of a sudden there's this cloud of uncertainty about the direction of the program. So it's a huge game for Michigan, probably even more so than Notre Dame. Ohio State, 300 yards of total offense and 42 points. They had the ball for just 12 minutes, and they'll get the football to start the third. Possible to slow those guys down. Haskins' pass is caught. It's a first down for McLaurin. Past midfield, the race is on. Inside the 30, inside the 20. McLaurin dives, he's in. Touchdown on the first play in 90 minutes. Nurnberger on for the point after. He's made 180. You could get your quarterback into a rhythm to start the half. Haskins' first start, been well documented. Trying to get him comfortable after a long delay. Let's call a play that he's very comfortable with and a play that we run all the time. Throws it, and then Terry McLaurin does the rest. How about this senior wide receiver, captain, according to his teammates? One of the best leaders that they have. Receiver. He is the interim wide receiver coach taking over for the fired Zach Smith. On the return, Jeff at Ohio State. That's a great resource to have. Jack Coletto, the third quarterback Oregon State has used today. He hands it off on first down and breaking the tackle is Pierce. And he's on the go. Will they catch him? Two plays, two touchdowns. Run. to be tough when you're a defensive player in your team today. You got that? I do not. Your season's not defined by one game. Touchback, Ohio State in quarter. That's what we wanted to see from Haskins. Run play on first down. Weber breaks the tackle. And close to a first down. You mentioned JT Barrett. 45 seconds into the second half after an hour and 15 minute delay because of lightning. Movement. They're ready for play and not blown yet. Ten years ago, Troy Smith, former Heisman Trophy winner, his favorite quarterback growing up. Haskins pass off the mark. The receiver was blocking downfield. Benjamin Victor. These are all things that are a work in progress. On third and one, Weber able to fight through a tackle and get close to the line to gain. It looks like he was able to move the stick. Need a master Teague. And they're all about 5'11", 215. Here's Weber again, just takes off, gets a huge running lane straight ahead to the Oregon State 45-yard line. Right there he cut it back up, up inside, but he's been used on the perimeter more in today's game than I can remember at any point last season. Here he is again, bouncing off a tackle, taking it outside. Stiff arms, pushed out of bounds near. Become a more nuanced runner. And that's a great thing, too, to offset what J.K. Dobbins already brings. Off play action, Haskins setting up, and that one off the mark, Rashad Berry, the intended. So much over the years. They have a true freshman in Jeremy Ruckert, and they're extremely high on a tight end. Yeah, Dave, he's the highest rated tight end they've brought in under Urban Meyer here, so a bright future for Ruckert. He's from Lindenhurst, New York. Haskins throwing on the run, delivers to Austin Mack. Being thrown to, is it right on the face mask, is it right in the numbers? The accuracy. Dobbins takes the handoff to the 29-yard line. Reaction cleanly. Boy, that contributes to Yak big time. Haskins, again, you talk about ball placement. Could it have been thrown any better to Austin Mack? Of course, in limited action, but helped beat the Wolverines in Ann Arbor. Here's Campbell on the run, and he's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. Touchdown pass. And it's 56-21. He's definitely been good, but he's been aided by some outstanding play when these guys get the ball in their hands. Champ Flemings is the deep man. Flemings about 5'4", 150 pounds, but he's got some wheels. He got leveled at the 23-yard line. And Barrett. Jack Coletto in at quarterback. And some movement a couple hours away. Opportunity to have his guys bond. As uh, Pierce goes straight ahead. To have a chance to go do that with your teammates is really unique. Pierce again. Boy, he's got some skill. Pass midfield. He's going to house it again. 70. Especially in the open field. 
168 rushing yards and two touchdowns. We'll have Marcus Hooker back next week. Brother of Malik, he was suspended for this game. But I'm, I'm guessing Pierce would have been able to outrun him as well. Touchback, it'll come out to the 20. There's some really good coaches, and there's some really good players. Here's J.K. Dobbins straight ahead. Askins, great throw, off play action, completion to K.J. Hill. When they go on the road to South Carolina next week, that's going to be a real test for the Bulldogs. Haskins throws it out into the flat for Campbell. Breaks a tackle but stepped out of bounds. Now, all right, well, based on what you guys just said, how important it is for anybody to be a player-led team is on third down and one. Weber able to find his way to get the first down. He stayed in bounds inside the 20, stays in bounds inside the 10. And now they're going to rule him out of star players. So I really believe that it is, given the urgency that we witnessed in practice the other day. Mike Weber, already 168 rushing yards. And yep. Denzel Ward, top five pick last year. Number four overall by the Browns. Weber lowers the boom. First down and goal from the five. Coming Games for Miami last year, you'd say absolutely yes. You look at the last three, you have your concerns. Haskins on first and goal. Weber gets the carry and doesn't go anywhere. Sean Wilson, who has... He's, he's a different runner this year. He looks really good, and he's got to credit his offensive line. He's had some opportunities up front. It's Weber again. Touchdown, Mike Weber. Sean Nurnberger, 8 of 8 on extra points. 9 for 9. Uh -huh. Survived an hour, 15-minute... Rain delay. We started with about 102,000, but that's been cut in half because of the weather in terms of attendance. Champ Fleming's on the return. He gets swallowed whole at the 17-yard line by Sean Wade. The call for Ohio State in his first career start. Jay Coletto, the quarterback for Oregon State, off play action, rolling out, throws it in the dirt. A new rule. Development and getting young guys out there when they're capable. Coletto keeps it. Oh, you spoon feed them a little bit. You know, give them some sugar here, some sugar there, and all of a sudden they're involved. They have a role. And by the end of the season, when you're banged up and you're in week 11, 13, 14, now all of a sudden you've got 20, 25 extra guys that have helped get you through that season, and you have to be playing your best at the end of November. It will be because of this redshirt rule. Coletto completes it to Hernandez on third down, and it's going to bring up fourth and long. Guys might take a couple extra weeks. Might not be ready until, say, November. And then in November, you put him out there because he's more accustomed to what you're doing offensively and defensively. He's a completely different player, can help you win. Demario McCall, pinballs off of a defender who ran into a stone wall trying to tackle McCall. Returns it into Oregon State Terrell Day, making his head coaching debut as the acting bench boss for the Buckeyes today. And Tate Martell is in the game at quarterback. Played some in the first half. He's a freshman from Las Vegas, 20 years old. Red-shirted a year ago. Here's Brian Sneed, a true freshman, getting the carry. Third player within this offense as he continues to grow into that tight end position. So three freshmen out here now for Ohio State trying to play the best ball. Whoa, Martell pitched that at the last second. <laughs> exactly. Here's Sneed, wrestled. Deck. And guess what he probably hasn't had to do a whole lot of? Pass protect. So now all of a sudden, you're putting him into a situation that he's going to have to, he's going to have to eight, who might be ready in week 10. But it was interesting because I've also talked to some coaches, guys, that are with the new transfer rule, are a little concerned that if you put all your freshmen on the field all the time and you, and you get them on film, now all of a sudden they can be evaluated. Right. First down at the 18-yard line. Martell dumps it off to the tight end, Ruckert, who we just talked about. He's to the six. So other than what you said, Tom. Don't, I don't see when that's the only counterpoint I've heard, and I've heard it from more than one coach that I've spoken to this summer, that it's something they've thought about. They're still negative you have in this new rule. On second and goal, Sneed into the end zone. First, first touchdown. likely to play a role on this offense throughout the season. It won't be four games for Snead. It'll be 14 or 100 combined points, most of them by Ohio State, of course, leading 
70 to 31. Fair caught, and by rule now, that's a touchback. It comes out to all the pieces they have back. Alabama has some holes in the secondary and some question marks to answer, but they're good at quarterback, that's for sure. And I know we're all anxious to finally put that story to bed. Even Tua would tell you that, but as far as what this team needs, they might need a little bit more high-octane approach offensively. I'd be a little surprised if, if Tua isn't the starter as the season goes along. Well, just wonder when... Even if there's uncertainty at that position, when is Alabama really going to be tested? Jefferson slammed down, no gain on the play. Tommy Togiai with a tackle. Next Tech, they hung 47, so they can score, and they have some of the best receivers in college football. Demario McCall, the deep man, and fair caught around the 29. About having meetings canceled or going to the concert? Having meetings canceled. No doubt. <laughs> Not him. The ball carrier, another true freshman on this Ohio State roster. He's from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And we also have uh, Martell handing it off. So you got Richard Freshman handing it off to true freshman. They want their running backs to resemble. 5'10 or 5'11, 210 to 15 pounds, and very quick, great sudden change ability. Nice throw by Martell. For Dwayne Haskins to learn from. The interception in the red zone. A few decisions here and there. But for the most part, man, he was everything we thought he'd be and some. For Ryan Day, he's right. been running the show the last month since Meyer was placed on administrative leave. I think it's going to help, guys. And I'll tell you why. Because if there's... It's business as usual. You just have one additional voice that'll be at practice. You're going to still do all the things that you've done. one. Martell in the backfield with Master Teague. Teague gets the first down, and he's going to get a touchdown. Two true freshmen, Brian Sneed and Master Teague, each on the board here in the fourth quarter. Nuremberger makes it 77-31. Guys defensively in the proper direction before they play Rutgers next Saturday. Another touchback. You guys like this new rule? It's up. It gives me a lot of hope and optimism for the future that we're still being very mindful of the safety issues that surround our game and limiting. Exp I hope not. I hope not as well. I, listen, I'm, we're all for the safety and well-being of players. The only thing I don't like about this rule is I'm just not in favor, and maybe it's the coaching part of me. I'm not in favor of giving up free uh, field position. Because that's essentially what you do with this rule. So defensive coaches probably don't like it from a strategy standpoint. Because it's not what we're conditioned to watch football and appreciate. Like, I need to see a kickoff because that's the way I've only ever seen the game be played. That's the ceremonial way to get the game started. So I like, what are we trying to do? How best are we going to handle this new rule change? So it might be something that plays out over the next 12 weeks and we find more and more out. Well, as practice and they'll coach him against Tulane and then at Penn State. One last add on that kickoff rule. The answer is just to have the best kicker that puts it out of the back of the end zone. Right. How many points would Oregon State score on Ohio State's defense? I would have said way below 31. And I'm impressed with their plan, with the way they executed. And in Ryan Day's debut as the acting head coach at Ohio State, the Buckeyes win 77-31.